Okay, go ahead and lie on your back here. But that's, you know, food is a chemical, right? And uh, chemicals compete with chemicals. And Yeah, because I didn't show, I mean, I didn't get eczema. I didn't have stomach issues. And right. Kind of stuff. And I for her, it was purely an energy drainer. She didn't have any of the typical other symptoms. Yeah. So the thing I say all the time is everything's guilty until proven innocent in the office. There's no such thing as, they, 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 you'll hear this in your sleep, but I've taken it for years, but I've taken it for years. I mean, yes, it's been killing you for years. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's the same thing. How can a multivitamin be bad for me? And you explain the whole situation again, but that's, that's good. Uh, if only we had to educate people once, right? It's uh, some people. We should we should rate our patients on number of times you had to say the same thing. <laughs> oh, that's a five timer. That one. <laughs> I got a whole day of five timers. What's going on? Okay, bend here for me. So a little bit um, short on the right leg. Let those flop to the side. Drop that down. Hold strong for me. I like to check a sartorius. Bend here, spring your leg up, swing in. I'm pulling. All right, we're going to go a little faster with her so we get a more general idea how it looks in, in mm -hmm. real time. And we'll just hold strong for me and call out what we see here. All right, so she's got GV20 open, ready to go initially. Let's see if colors are cooperating here in this light. So even in this light with GB20 open, the colors aren't doing so great, but we know she's a green. So we'll stick on the green vitality. Hold for me. There we go. So it works really nicely. It just helps enhance everything. Uh, make wake up her body. And I always like to see if it works without the green vitality after that. If we just did a basically a little energetic kickstart is what you did, and everything starts to work after that. So there are wonderful little vials that help us out. Very good. Let's run through some stuff. Any uh, major complaints lately? Anything you want to tell us? Um, no, pretty much maintaining. The Energy's weight, still okay? Energy's really great. The weight's not dropping, but... Tell us what you're doing for exercise. Um, going to the gym two, three times a day. I usually do elliptical and weights. I'm sorry, two, three times a week. <laughs> no, not a day. <laughs> two, three times a week. Okay. Now that my energy's back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Our first high dopamine point. Terrific. All right, high dopamine. We break down dopamine. When you look on your pathway there, here it is. With copper and vitamin C. Sometimes iron and B12. Look straight up all the way. That way. That's copper. Let's try iron. Hold for me. Oh, follow my finger. Hold for me. Good. You did great with that. Let's make sure it's actually a dopamine problem. Hold strong. Okay. Eyes up all the way. Okay, so the copper test with the eyes fixes the dopamine, but it's not off enough to where eyes up by themselves actually is a problem, unless there's another mineral in front of copper that your body needs to have. Let's run through them all. Uh, down and left, down and right, up and right, up and left, straight down all the way. Follow my finger two times. Let me just do that. Yeah. Okay. We need to do this one. Follow my finger. Hold for me. And that's zinc. Okay, good. So copper helped cancel dopamine, the eye test for copper, but it doesn't show up in the clear on its own. So let's push it around a little bit. I'm going to throw some iron on her and see if that's trouble. Try your eyes straight up all the way. And that's no problem. And then we'll do zinc. And there are three-way teeter-totter, iron and zinc. There's no zinc here. It must be over here. Here it is. Hold for me. Eyes up all the way. So copper shows up if we get too much zinc and dopamine's there. But I have to stress her to find it. So how 
significant can a dopamine problem be with her if I have to stress her out to, to find the, the antidote? Let's, let's see about vitamin C. Vitamin C has a lot to do with vessels and vasculature too. So maybe copper can do the job there for us, but maybe vitamin C or B12 is actually better. So let's check some vessels. Yeah, if I do a little vessel stretch, we get a reaction. We'll do a little tapping. That's bothersome too, okay. Let's pull some hair. Go ahead and take your finger and rub some gums. Good, relax. You can take your hand up, there you go. Good, so those are all right. So, so far, vessel stretch and tapping. I'm gonna squeeze into her joint. I'm gonna stretch some ligaments, make a fist. Hold for me. I'm gonna grind this down, relax your wrist, relax your wrist. Hold for me. Good, so it looks like it's mostly vascular. Uh, here's another one with vascular, which wasn't on the list, I just remembered, realized. Close your eyes. I'm gonna push down lightly on her eyeball. Hold strong. That's a test for anybody that has an eye problem. So, glaucoma for sure, but even other issues where if they need vitamin A, if they need antioxidants, if they need the typical stuff that people use to, to build um, and support eye function, the bilberry and the beta carotene and all those things. That's a great little test. So she's got three vascular tests essentially that have shown up. Mm, so now I am getting suspicious of some sort of vitamin C. So vitamin C with bioflavonoids would be a good thing to check with her. See how many things we can fix. Good. Now that fixed the dopamine point. I wonder with if that vitamin C takes away that zinc copper stress that was just created. So there's the zinc. Look straight up all the way. Yeah, and that copper issue isn't there anymore. So there's a good example of how one nutrient sets in order a bunch of other things too. We could have done some copper and worked that direction, and, but if we'd gone through our soft tissue tests as part of our normal routine, we'd have seen those other things there, and uh, we'd ended up probably with vitamin C with bioflavonoids anyhow. It would also be a good time to check um, any kind of antioxidant. That's what you're thinking about with the vascular issues. So we have to make sure this fixes this and this. Close your eye for me. And this. Wonderful. I just out of curiosity because she thinks she should be losing weight with the amount she's eating and the amount she's exercising. I'm going to do that squeeze test again. Hold for me. And she's okay there. But I'm going to stress out her metabolism. And we almost always can use adrenaline and noradrenaline to do that. And throw that on her and see if this shows up. Okay. So basically put your patients in the fight or flight response. It's the most common thing they're going to be dealing with anyway. And see if one, something related to their main complaint shows up. So we're having an inability to metabolize fat and use it for fuel in stressed conditions. So I would get concerned that if she overtrains, increases her heart rate too much, she's going to move into the fight or flight response and negate all the good stuff she's trying to do as far as losing weight and helping her metabolism. So aerobic fitness and anaerobic fitness are two totally different things, right? It's the aerobic side that helps us burn fat. It's the anaerobic side that helps us use glycogen and do the short sprints and and uh, the quick activities, the intense activities. So the, the equation for heart rate is 180 minus your age to get your upper end of your heart rate. And then if you've had any issues health-wise or chronic issues or you get sick much, take another five points off of that. So you're how old? 51. So we're going to say 50. So 180 minus 50 is 130. And we you're generally healthy, you don't get sick much, that sort of stuff. So 130 would be her upper end. Her range would be 120 to 130. That would be your optimal workout range. Do you do spin classes? Mm -mm. What kind of uh, high intensity stuff do you do? I just, I just um, on the elliptical, it's always just cardio. I don't do a lot of the do you take classes. Do you take a heart rate monitor and monitor mm -hmm. your? No. Okay. Um, I just wing it. Hold strong. 
So vitamin C is a big deal for her. It's fixing the pinch test with the epinephrine and norepinephrine there. It's fixing the dopamine. It's helping vasculature. We like that. And that's really good so far because she takes good care of herself. And her energy's back since she stopped poisoning herself with egg white. And uh, <laughs> I gave her such a hard time. I said, you must be doing something wrong because I, should, I, I would have fixed you by now. You must be poisoning <laughs> yourself. And I was. And I was like, whew, it was her. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't miss something. <laughs> you see, I told you. I was like, whoa. What's the matter with her? <laughs> All right. Let's see what else we find. Hormones. Oh, hot flashes you've had. They went away. Yeah. When? Um, after my last checkup, a month or so ago. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I missed that. I missed that important point. Yeah. How, how You're just going to leave forget. me hanging, huh? How soon we forget when we get That's healthy. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah, you fixed that. <laughs> Don't you have patients like that? Yeah. You see them once or twice, you haven't seen them for a year. Where have you been? You were a mess. Oh, you fixed me. Oh, thank